Hello, everyone. Something came to my mind. Alleviate suffering. Some people may say, Uncle Cav, what does alleviate mean? Here we go. Make suffering deficiency or a problem less severe. So a word came to my mind, words, I guess I can say, alleviate suffering. And I started to think more on it. I think this is part of life. Not so much about worrying about ourselves, but alleviating suffering in other people's lives. We may pray to God, ask God, God, uh, I want to get married. God or God, please heal my marriage. God, um, I want a job. I want this. I want a car. You know, I want things to become better between me and my dad, me and my mom, my family, so on and so on. And I believe much of it, I am not saying all of it, but I believe much of it is due to us. What are we doing? Are we only caring about our needs? Are we mainly focused on ourselves? Like, are we really caring about other people? When we see so many poor people in town or on our, our way to a store or something like that, what do we do? Do we just pass by them? Do we just give them like a strange stare? Do we become disgusted by them? Listen now. We want God to alleviate our suffering, but are we alleviating other people's suffering. You may say, Uncle Kev, this is my life. I am only focused about myself. I don't really care about other people because when I was younger, no one really cared for me. No one really loved me. No one really did much for me. So I had to learn to go out there and get it myself. Okay, but you are praying to God. Okay, you learned to get it yourself, but you are praying to God. You are complaining about this issue and that issue and all these issues. You want God to make a way to make things better in your life, but you are choosing not to alleviate the suffering of others. Are you listening to what I am saying? You want God to do something for you, but God is telling us right in the Bible, you reap what you sow. In a sense, what you do will come back to you. I know I need help so much. Are you listening? I know I need help so much. So guess what I do? I help people. I do things for people. With some people, when they call Kevin, can you blah, 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 blah. Most times I do it. Not always because I want to do it. I know 
For one, I believe it is pleasing to God for people to help others. And two, I know I will reap what I sow. Let's say there is a person that is sick. And let's say I am going shopping for that person. I am very patient with that person. I am taking that person to the hospital. I am doing this. I am doing that. Those things I am doing is not in vain. I believe those things I am doing is playing a part in my life now. I know if I want God to do things for me, I better be doing things for people. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? You want things to be one-sided. God, I care nothing for people. Uh, I suffered a lot, so everyone else has to suffer too. So this life is about me. And yes, God, I am going to pray to you. I am going to pray for things that I want. And who cares about everyone else? I will tell you this. If you stay that way, you are going to have a very difficult time in serving God. You are going to have a very hard time and getting what you want from God. God does not want us to be selfish. Yes, you were treated badly. Yes, you were done wrong. Yes, people did bad things to you, but you still have to care and love others. Alleviate suffering. What should be on your mind? What can I do to help people in life to make their lives easier? And I am not sitting here acting like I am perfect. I am not sitting here acting like I know everything. But what should be on your mind? Okay, there are things I want from God. Who is in my way, not in my way, but who can I see? I am not saying you have to give every dollar out of your bank account. I am not saying you have to bring in 1,000 homeless people into your home. What I am saying is do something. Do something for someone. Do something for some people. Do something. Do something. Listen now. Alleviate suffering. You want God to alleviate your suffering, right? Alleviate the suffering in others. Listen. I don't really worry about anything. I don't worry about the next time I will eat. I don't worry about uh, when my car is going to be fixed. I don't worry about many things. I know if I continue to do what is right, not to say that I am 100% perfect, I know if I continue to help people and treat people right, I know I am going to be protected. I know God is going to look out for me. Are you listening to what I am saying? What you need to do, what we need to do, is be concerned about others. Uncle Kev, you know, I am an introvert and I am afraid of poor people and, you know, poor people may scratch me and turn me into a zombie. Listen now, if you are afraid of poor people or people in need, 
give the money or something to a person who isn't so they can help them. Does that make any sense to you? Alleviate the suffering in others, for others. If I am saying in or for, I guess. Let me stop here. May God bless us.